Delve deeper with your Pikmin. Yes, dive! Did I make that same joke last episode? <laughs> I think I did. Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Amal Play Pikmin 2. On the last episode, I took care of sub-levels 2 through 5 of Glutton's Kitchen. Uh, today, Mao's in charge. She's on sub-level 6. We don't know how many sub-levels... It's like sunny now. Uh, there are... Oh, yes we do! There are 6. Well, I guess we learned our lesson. So Mao, you're in charge. Uh, when you beat this, you will be... That is a large one. <laughs> He's coming right for me, oh my god! It's a loaf of bread! Do you think he's evil? No, he walked right by you. I know. Mallory, it's a bread bug. Oh Literally, it's a, bre it's a bread bug. Um, I don't think they are interested in harming you. Strangely. Um, you probably want to leave the, the purples at the door because there's a lot of electric bugs around. Does this not have a boss? They're taking treasures, it looks like, into there. Yeah, looks like it. But also, one of them did that before, and it ended up coming back somehow, so I guess don't worry about it? This has been the most bizarre cave. Like, what the heck is this cave? Like, I, I just don't understand. It doesn't hurt you. I, I guess you should just let it live. Just work I on taking so. out the electric bugs. Glutton's kitchen has been so weird. At least now I understand the kitchen part. Hopefully we'll see the egg again, because, uh... We hadn't seen the egg. Maybe the bread bug is so big, because... What you're supposed to get is the bread. You know what I mean? You feel me, Mal? I don't know. We'll find out. You gotta kill it, and then you gotta take a knife and cut it up. And you take the bread back to the ship that you cut. Maybe I kill it. it because it's, like, gluttony and it's, like, overeating? I mean, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it is Glutton's Kitchen, so we're, we'll be reaching a little bit. Careful of that gate. With myself, you mean? Yeah. Because you don't, you don't get electrocuted. You can walk through fire, right? Because we got a thing for the suit that was like, walk through fire! and feel okay about yourself. But I don't think we have anything like that for electricity, so don't walk through electricity, which you just <laughs> almost did. I um, mean, that's everything but those carcasses. Well, and these eggs, well, these carcasses. So now, now the real question is here. What happens next? Where are the treasures? I think you should I think you should kill the guys. Because maybe they will give you the treasures. I don't know. And maybe when you start attack the bread bug, he'll get pissed and attack you back. Uh, maybe, but maybe not. Maybe when you attack his children, he'll get pissed. But, I mean, we gotta try something because you've killed everything. There's nothing yeah. more to this level. I mean, it's they have two more carcasses to get. I, Mal, I really, I don't think your theory is right. And I could be wrong, but Just I... Just stay of these last two, and then we'll see. So you're gonna let them take them into the hole. Uh-huh. And what, what is your theory exactly? Um... I don't know. <laughs> no, no. You, you're that letting they're gonna them... take it into the hole, and treasures are gonna pop out, and that's gonna be it. So <laughs> you're... Well, that's my theory. Your theory is that when they put them into the hole, treasure will come out. Yes. Okay. Well, I anxiously await to see if this is correct. All right, one's going into its hole. Get ready for the treasure. Here comes the next treasure. Mallory, that thing in front of you, the big one, is obviously the boss. He has to be killed. That's that's the only explanation. Should and I kill the little ones first? I don't know, just kill everything. They can only be killed by getting stomped on, you know? And it's hard, it takes, it takes a bit. Even using the purples, it takes a bit. Just keep wailing on them, and eventually they will they will perish. It's dead! That's what happens. If it takes it into its hole, then 
when you kill it, the hole disappears, and that's why the treasure comes out. So earlier in the, the in Glutton's Kitchen, when I was killing those guys, it was destroying their holes, which was why it was putting the treasure there. Okay. Which, in all honesty, makes a whole lot more sense than, <laughs> than it can only have one thing in its hole, and when it brings in a carcass, it'll give you your treasure. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. So that's ham. Or, bleh, God forbid, bologna. Meat of champions! It's probably bologna, then. You got a fried egg? Which sounds really good right now. Holy crap. I haven't craved a fried egg <laughs> like this in a while. Look at that fried egg. Ooh, oh, look at it wiggle. Wiggly edges. Oh my god, and they're just a little bit crisp. A hideous victual. Hideous is not the right word for that. Um, so the bread bug definitely has something in his hole. What was that? No idea, but the bread bug's got something in his hole because it's like the boss. So we'll have to see what happens. Oh, it's trying to take that one with it. This is my son. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Oh, we that got hurt it. Wow, that was awesome. Good job. I mean, it was an accident, but still, good job. If it doesn't land on top, it doesn't seem to do anything, so you have to really... Oh, a donut! I would kill the big guy first and then collect all the spoils. Oh, I think you have to have purples, Mal. Personally. Maybe? Wait a minute. Grab it from it. March into the thing. Okay, it's too late. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the way that you hurt this thing is it's pulling its stuff and then you have to pull it into the ship which hits its head. Oh, uh, its health is back. Yeah, its health is back. You're going to have to uh you're going to have to really you're going to have to do a better job of landing on top of him. There you go. He's down to a quarter. Or uh, well, you've done a quarter. This is this is crazy to me. Because the last set of episodes were submerged castle and it was super difficult and we were on edge and we were tense. And this has just been, well, you know, there's some electric bugs and uh, that's basically it. Or occasionally you're gonna have like you're gonna have some gates. And then when you get to the boss level, there's there's nothing dangerous at all. It's just a it's just a little bug that walked through a tiny loaf of bread. And, uh, he really wants a donut, but you gotta go up to him and you gotta say, Hey, monster, that's my donut! And you gotta, like, kick him in the balls and throw guys on top of him, and then you can leave. And it sounds pretty easy, but it's actually really hard because he walks outside of the map, and then you gotta wait for him to come back to ask for the donut again. I haven't been able to get one on top of him. I see. There you go. Um, so here's what I would recommend. Um, throw them slower, because he has to go through his little stun animation. So, like, when you hit one on him, wait a sec for him to kind of get through that animation. He stands in one spot, which is nice. The good news is, I don't think he'll go back into his hole. He seems to only go into his hole when he has something to drag. There you go. Okay, you're almost there. <laughs> Oh, I don't have purple. Yeah, you don't have purple selected. Bye! <laughs> don't forget to write! Oh my lord. Alright, here he comes. Finish this up, Mal. He doesn't have a whole lot of health. That one really hit the ground running. Oh my god. He's in red. You just have to hit him one or two more times and he'll be dead. <laughs> Oh my god, this isn't even a boss fight. Maybe when you kill him, you'll you'll unlock the final form. Okay, there you go. How would you do this without purples? I don't know. Maybe that's why it's been giving us so many purples. I mean, it would have been hard to lose them because it's been so easy. Oh my god! I mean, you're... You, you're not doing a great job of aiming, admittedly. There you go, he's dead. And he gives you something. He's laying on it. Great. What is that he thing? He gives me bread. 
processing. How bizarre an item appears to have fallen out of that freakish creature. It must have been a greedy beast to swallow something like this. Okay, but what is it? Kind of looks like an eraser. Also, I wish the cutscene would have shown... Um... That's weird. I'll just go up on this ledge then. Fine. The cut I wish the cutscene would have just shown him. Would have been funnier. Alright, now it's time to find out what it does, because all of the boss items in the caves give us, like, an ability, which is cool. Dream material. This intriguing material does not conduct electricity. It is far more advanced than the material I was researching. How frustrating. A spacesuit made from this wonder alloy would insulate the wearer from electric shocks. It's a pencil eraser. Yeah. Excellent. This new material has allowed me to complete my anti electrifier. So now we can walk through electric. It is my own invention with only the smallest iota of outside inspiration. I have reconfigured your suits with this new material. They will now protect you from electricity. Cool. Thanks, robot. I kind of picked up on that without you going on and on about it, but cool. So with that donut, that'll probably be it. And I can honestly say Glutton's Kitchen was the easiest thing ever. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, I let my guard down for sure in the, the sub-level before this. Um, the one with the cannons. Uh-huh. But that was it. Like, the, <laughs> that was the only difficult part, and I lost some guys I shouldn't have lost, but... Thankfully, we didn't need white. Yeah, 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 that's another good point. We didn't need white. We shouldn't forget in the future, Sweet but... Sweet dreamer. But we didn't need white. Sweet dreamer. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's it. And Perplexing Pool is... I don't have any leaves, do I? No. There was no one that got hurt. There was I a boss. Get hurt. There was a boss fight where no one got hurt. Cool. All right, escape to the surface. Also, we gotta remember about that bitter spray because the one guy I needed to kill. Yeah. I used the bitter spray and it was like, oh, he's dead. Treasure salvaged. All of them. We now have all of the pokos we need. I lost 22 guys in the easiest cave ever, and I feel dumb, but whatever. It's, we can make more. That's all Oops. that really... What? what? <laughs> that was a mistake. Clearly. What? Okay. Well, let's hope that... Let's hope nothing bad happens. Uh, it'll save when you're at the end of the day, though. So yeah, it should, I know It that. should be fine. Um, you still have a good bit. You've Ooh. repaid the entire debt. Good. Cutscene. Mission complete. You've earned 10,000 Pocos. Now Hokotate Freight will be prosperous and debt-free until the end of time, probably. Prepare to blast off. We return to Hokotate triumphantly. Is he crying? He's crying. But I don't want to leave yet. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We, we, have, we have more stuff to do there. Darn you, game. No, we have things to do! Okay, so I guess we beat what most people consider, you know, the normal game. <laughs> I'll miss you! I'm God! No, I'm God! I'm bigger! <laughs> I'm God! Come back! No, I must go home. Wait! Hold on. Oh my God. I forgot <laughs> something. It's probably not important. <laughs> Somewhere, Louis like, Almar, <laughs> Almar, uh, Almar, where'd you go? Almar, I can't find the ship. I know we parked it here. Did it's you? It's gonna be nighttime soon, and I hear it's really bad at night. Almar, I'm gonna die. <laughs> we did it. We beat the game. Here, have some live-action footage with some CG cut. Oh, look at look at Louie. He's really pissed. 
He is he is full of anxiety, but also anger. Louis gonna be the next boss. God, I hope so. <laughs> is it bad that like my first thought? Also, was this shot on like a Sony Handycam? <laughs> Nintendo, all of the money in the world, can do whatever they want, and it's just very strange that this looks like it was shot, you know, on a on a Razer smartphone from 2004. It's just very odd, very odd choice. Um. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because, like, this is just, um, you know, this isn't the real, I mean, I guess it's the credits, but it just doesn't feel like the real credits. It's like you said, Mal, like, um, I had things to do, and we weren't done at the perplexing pool, darn it. I had a little bit of time left in my day, and I was trying to finish, um... What should have happened, in my opinion, is the ship should have been like, wow, you did all your stuff, you want to go back now? You could have been like, yeah, let's end this. Or you could have been like, no, I got more stuff to get. I'm guessing that the, they're going to work that into the story somehow. Yeah, I bet. That's the only thing that makes sense. They're going to have to work it into the story and basically say, you know, oh, you got the money. Well, now we need more money. Go back to the planet of the three gods and find Louis. Because you left Louis. Louis is actually a hand model for Hokotate Freight, and we need him. He's worth millions. In retrospect, why did we send him? That was a dumb idea. He looks so sad. <laughs> no tears? Alright, results prior to repaying debt. Okay. Pikmin left behind. One. Pikmin died in battles. 250. Pikmin lost her explosions. That was all in one cave. I bet 13 was in one cave, too. Red Pikmin born. Yellow Pikmin born. Blue and white. Purples. And yet we have almost none. We've played for 17 hours, 24. And now it lets you scroll through all of them, but we've already seen the stuff, so I think we're good. Okay. You can just press A. Save this time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't want to save. So the question is... Resume the expedition or return? Yes. Hit yes. Because <laughs> you were choosing the other thing. So, what happens? Thanks to you, our company has been saved. Hurrah! What? What? There's still more treasure. Good gravy. If we collect it all, we'll be filthy rich. Louis! Where's Louis? What? You lost him? In that case... I shall go. Wait, what? Wait, are you serious? I... What? And we get Wistful Wild. Okay, well, we're not going to Wistful Wild. Now you still have time to do another day. Um, Should I go finish this up? It's six of seven. We're literally missing one. So, yes. Mal's going to land back in Perplexing Pool. We don't even know where the last part is. So you're going to have to look for it. So is he going to be my Louie until we, like, actually finish the game and find Louie? I think so. Oh, look at my ship! Wow. It's so bright and new and happy. What the balls is going on? This is so weird. Mr. President, you've arrived. My scans indicate this planet is still heavily laden with treasure. We shall make Hokotate Freight, the golden, indisputable king of deep space, long-haul freight. Then everyone will be godly clad in gold, like me. No, I, I am unique and beautiful, yes. Alamar, I must ask that you take extreme care so as not to insult or endanger our president. For now, where could Louie be? To be stuck on an uncivilized planet with no food at all. I am concerned. You must waste no time in finding him. That is a twist I did not in a million years see coming. I'm gonna take... That is wild. This many blue. So you're just gonna kind of go look? And wait for my... So, I mean, the thing is, we have no idea where this part is. Like, you you basically have to wander around. 
Um, if you can find nectar and make your guys stronger, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping for that, but, too. But, um... Honestly, Mal, I really wonder if it would have been faster if you just walked around as yeah. yourself. So you could just sprint and find where this thing is. If Let's you have to wonder... That. If you have to wait on the leaf guys, it's gonna take forever. Come I would on. go around as just yourself and see if you can find this as quick as possible and then use the rest of the day to get it. Because if you have to use yet another day here, that would be bad. All right. All right. We have no idea what we're looking for. So I looked all over there, right? What, to the right? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I'm going this way. <laughs> I, I would go the other way. Nah. Okay. It is your episode. You can do whatever. So I got the thing that was up here. Yes. And the I think that we got everything that we needed from back there. That's why I say that maybe over the shower room, or over here maybe, maybe there was something that was up on the ledge we didn't see. May want to zoom the camera out so we can see if there's anything um, that maybe... Because this is where we got yellows, so maybe there was something that was up somewhere that... But mm. once again, our treasure indicator will go off when we get close to whatever is around. And it could be buried, but our treasure indicator will still go off. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be moving. I'm keeping my eye on it, so you just keep exploring, and I'll tell you if I see something. Surely it has to be on top of that, right? How would you get over there? There's no way to get over there. There's, Is you it can't... this? Good God, no. That's like... It would be going off. Yeah, and it would be going off. That's like just like a piece of wood that fell or something. There's no way that's it. I mean, there's some weird stuff that's sitting around here, but... Is there anything up on that ledge? No. Nothing seems to be going off. I vote that you walk over where the shower room is. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm gonna circle this way first and go around that way. Okay. Isn't this the way you walked over, though? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, whatever. I'm watching you. Hopefully we'll find something. Yeah, it can't be that way. And you were already up in there. You looked over there. We got a part from over there. Yeah, I firmly believe that this thing has got to be behind the um, the ships. I thought we were done over there, but we, we must not be. There's got to be something over there. So just wander around, and hopefully the radar will start going off and reveal it. And do you, you kind of do you do you feel like you have to be kind of close to it for it to go off? I don't know. Is there anything in the corner here? No, I don't think so. Is there anything over here? Oh, it's moving! It's moving. Do you think it's white? Yeah, I think it is. Mo start walking around in that corner. It's gotta be... Yep, it's buried there. Okay. Alright, you have three quarters of the day left to do it. Um, you need to bring... You need um, to bring at least... I should bring some red to fight the frogs, right? Yeah. I mean, red, red or strong. You can bring reds. And then I need a couple white. Yeah, I would bring, you know, whatever. A few. You can leave the whites kind of out of the way so they don't have to fight. Yeah, I was going to. Because you don't want them to get crushed by the, the froggy frog. Alright, so now we get to see what the president is capable of. I'm going to assume that he's just a reskin of Louie, so he probably performs the same. But maybe he's got... maybe slightly different. Okay. It's taking 20 over to clear the area. And uh, it's not too bad. No. <laughs> but we want to drink the things that we can't utilize. Come on. Come on, baby. Get some of this. There you go. Um. There you go. Yeah, you're doing good. You haven't lost. Do you hear any. a car horn when he whistles? Yeah. Is that the president's whistle? Maybe. I'm not sure. Either way, that thing should be dead. It is a car horn. What the heck? Whatever. Yeah. 
Doing good, doing good, doing good. Oh! He's dead. Nice one, Mal. Alright. Cool. Uh, now you just gotta bring the the whites in and figure out where this thing is, and that's it. Perplexing pool's done. Hallelujah. Alright, find this thing, little stink pots. Cool. Um, also, his uh, march is different. Oh, yeah, it makes a slightly different noise. Um, if I were you, because you still have time, I would grab yellows, maybe, and have them return these things so you can build the yellow numbers up. Okay. Um, just because that's the lowest numbers. Yeah. And then if you have any time left in the day, I don't know, maybe there's nectar or something around. Um, Should I put these blue back or no? No. You don't need to. Is that enough to haul the frog? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I think the frogs are Look seven. Look at them go. I don't know what seven, that seven is. Seven, seven, five. That should be 19. What, what, did, what, could you tell what that was? No. Yeah, there's seven. Seven, seven, and five. So it's going to be um, 19. So you'll have just enough. There you go. One more. And then take the blue thing. Oh my god, Mal, it feels so good to be done with Perplexing Pool. Holy crap. Oh, thank god. <laughs> this was, uh, this was quite a map. Uh-huh. And apparently this is the map that gets harder after day 30. Like, like crazy monsters or something show up and it gets really difficult. Fortified Delicacy. Awesome. Okay, um... Well, they're gonna bring in the... Should I kill some things and still build up yellow? I mean, you got you got some time left in the day. I'm gonna put white away. Yeah, you can't build their numbers anyway, so they're not gonna do any good. I mean, you don't want to lose any guys. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess build up yellows is fine. Um, you know, if there, or if there's nectar or something, there's you know a few things you could do. That's gonna build up your numbers a little bit. Uh, oh, berries! You should get berries. Because they're over here just chilling. Yeah. And um, those are bitter berries, which we've already seen are actually really freaking good. Um, so we should utilize that the best we can. Um, otherwise, that's... That's kind of it. Um, I think... I think we're... Unless something notable happens, we're just going to kind of uh, skip ahead to the end of the episode. And we're at the end of the day. Uh, Mao was able to increase numbers a little bit between yellow and blue, and then also get flowered. Get sprays. Yeah, I got a lot of sprays, actually. I think got two more bitter sprays and one more um, offensive spray. And then I used a little bit of nectar, and that was it. Yeah, and we should have no reason to come back to the perplexing pool. We are in a nice freaking rocket. Holy crap. Louie is out there probably getting munched on, and we're soaring around <laughs> in a solid 24 karat gold rocket. Well, what's going to happen is we're going to find Louie, and we won't be able to fit him in the spaceship. Yep, that'll happen. All right, you did it. We've already met our goal for 10,000. Now we're just on the hunt to get all of the treasures. Numbers went up. Not by a whole lot, but, you know, 21 is good. Hmm. Some president you are. I just got back from vacation to find out you're on a treasure hunt. Well, don't bother coming home until you found every item on your list. Okay. We won't. We may never come home again. I guess it's supposed to be his wife. <laughs> Comes across more like his mom, but whatever. Uh, perplexing pool is done, Mal. Woo! So, so now we have two more caves and a few more items. Yep. And then... And then the Magical World knows? of Wistful Wild, which I imagine is super, super hard. Yeah. So next episode, I'm in control. I will be taking us ba uh, back to the Valley of Repose and getting started on God knows what. I don't know what's back there, but I'm sure it's <laughs> going to be interesting. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Amal play Pikmin 2.